right. Hey guys, this is Mal from Fun Creatives. Thank you for being with me now. As you can see, I've got um, a template that I made in in Keynote and I've uploaded it to GoodNotes. Now, I like to take notes of books that I'm reading and this is a self-help book that I really, really like. Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins and Joseph McClendon. So it's up my alley. I'm going to show you another template that I just made a moment ago. So I'll find um, good notes, bring it up. Okay, let's have a look. Let's make it fit the whole page. So, so I'll get rid of that page. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I made this just a moment ago. Really easy to do, but this is what I'm going to do for my next book or notes on the previous book. So, what you need to do is you need to get up Keynote. So I need to go find keynotes, which I had before, right there. Pop that one up. Now this is one that I made just earlier. Easy peasy, I'm going to make a new one. So let's go to plus and we'll move down to blank. So the plus is down on your left hand side there. Go to blank page. Perfect. Now as you'll notice that this is like an A4 sized or kind of like a US letter sized, which is fine. This is what I want, you know. Um, to get this orientation, you need to go to the three dots up the top right hand side. Click on that and you will see document setup. So usually it comes in like a landscape for you. If you wanted to change it to an A4, which I've got sort of here, you go to document setup. You see on the bottom right hand side, a slide size, click on that. And it would usually be in 4.3, but today I've put it into 3.4. Right, go to done. So there's my setup right there. Now I'm going to put some shapes in the middle here to help my template. Go to the plus sign. I'm going to pick that little icon, that shape, and I am going to change the color. So I'll go to the paintbrush and go to fill. Go to white, not no fill. White is better for moving things around. Go to style, which is above preset. Now go to borders, turn that on. Switch on the desired strength or stroke. And then click into the main page again. Boom, there you go. Now I'm going to collect it, copy it, paste it, paste. And so I've made two the same size. I'm going to change it to suit me. That's great. I like that one. Another paste. This, I'm going to make this longer and a little bit wider. Paste again. In fact, this is going to be quite easy. Paste again. Now, I can get any shapes I wanted in here. I quite like this shape though. Paste. Right, sorry about the uh, noise in the background. That's the husband playing something. So, oopsie, move that up. Perfect. And I need a title box in there as well up top. Paste. There you go. Perfect. Move it along. Move that up. And there you go. I really like that. Might move that in a bit to the edge. And that's good to go. Okay, now. How to make export this to GoodNotes. So you go up to the three dots up the top right hand side, press it. Now you go to export, press that. These will come up. Go to images because GoodNotes takes images as well as PDFs. I prefer images, it's just easier. But if you're on Notability and things like that, you probably want to save as a PDF. Now, images, go in there. Highest quality. And if you want to save it as a PNG, that's fine because it's usually, usually high quality. And then you just press export. It's going to go to my camera roll. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to GoodNotes and grab that one up again. So I've got GoodNotes. And I this is my old template that I just made a few moments ago. I'm going to go to the plus on the left hand side up top. And then I'm going to go to add page below. This will come up. I'm going to go for a blank page. Perfect. Tap in the middle. Get your images up. 
get your photos and get your last little image up and there it is that I made just before and which you saw and now I'm going to make it bigger and now it fits as I want perfect right there now as you saw with this one here and that one I quite like putting stickers and clip art so I'm going to do that so I'm going to put my finger in the middle and I'm going to go to image go to photos moments and pick a sticker that sticker is going to do fab <coughs> now I'm going to find another image that I want to put in or clip art I call them stickers and um, so there's that clip art which I do like that cat he's so cute right and one more so click again image photos moments what else can I put in here let's put in a teardrop and put it over here maybe not put it here okay so there's my template that I made now I can put anything I like in here images I can put writing I'll show you another one there you go images writing stickers um, this is a book that I saw that I'm reading at the moment Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins and I've taken notes and I'm still taking notes as you can see I've got it set up for my next page and this page and this page so um because it's quite a long book actually yeah and that's what you can do you know or you can make a diary out of this or you can just put um you know your appreciation for the day three different things it's a perfect your menus whatever Okay, so this is an easy way to make your own templates and upload to GoodNotes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. This is Mel from Fun Creatives.